Experience 2022 See the Future. Hello, everyone. My name is Gui Lin from the Venue Planning and Construction Department of Beijing 2022. My role is the Head of Venue and Infrastructure. I have been involved in the bidding and the organizing of the Olympic Winter Games since 2014 and have been responsible for the coordination of venue planning, design, and construction. From 1999 to 2008, I also participated in the bid and the preparation of the Beijing 2008 Olympic Games. Also work as a venue and infrastructure coordinator. Especially focus on the tender and the design of the Beijing Olympic Green, National Stadium and the National Aquatic Center. Before I start introducing Beijing 2022, I would like to review some venues from 2008 uh, that will be reused for these upcoming games. In Beijing 2008, we built many large venues, like the Beijing Olympic Green, the National Stadium, the National Aquatic Center, the National Indoor Stadium, and the Wukesong Sports Center, to name a few. Post-2008, the usage of the Olympic venues have been extremely high. For these 12 years, the number of active days exceeds 80% for these venues which is among one, the, one of the best venue usage rate in the world. Now the Olympic Green has become one of the mo most popular hot sports in China, even comparable to the Forbidden City and the Temple of Heaven. Though 12 years has passed, uh, the Olympic Green could still receive more than 2 million ticketed visitors each year. The ticket income amounts to 25 million US dollars. Beijing 2008 tells us that the venues will definitely become a hot spot after the games. Hence, during Beijing 2022, we have many early promotions. Beijing 2022 has three zones. All ice sports and the big air competitions are held in Beijing Zone. Aeropark skiing, bobsleigh, skeleton, and luge competitions are held in the Yanqing Zone. The remaining snow sport related competitions are held in the Zhangjiakou Zone. First, let's look at the Beijing Zone. National Speed Skating Oval. In the Winter Olympic Games, only 400 meter standard track and 300 meter training track are needed. However, the ice surface of the National Speed Skating Oval is designed as a 12,000 square meter full ice surface. With a similar ice surface, the oval can hold various large-scale ice activities and income in the future. It is also worth to mention that the oval adopted the world-leading technology, carbon dioxide refrigeration system. This system is environmentally friendly and cost-saving. 70% of the electricity could be saved. The quality of the ice is also uh, fabulous. With this system, the National Speed Skating Oval not only greatly saves uh, op operating costs after the game, but also achieves uh, annual ice production, which can greatly increase operating income. Big Air Shougang. Before Beijing 2022, Big Air venues were all temporary. In 2016, we decided to build the world's first permanent Big Air in Shougang Park in Beijing. This idea was supported by the International Olympic Committee and the International Ski uh, Federation. Shougang, with a history of about 100 years, is one of the uh, largest iron and steel manufacturers uh, in China. For the sake of Beijing 2008 and environmental protection, Shougang relocated its steel production facility from 2005. Following 10 years, the whole park is overgrown with weeds. 
Now, Shougang Park has completed industry uh, renovation and become a cultural and a sports center in Beijing. The park now has become a hot spot uh, of for photographers, attracting many tourists from home and abroad. In summer, this venue can hold cultural uh, performances and extreme sports to form all year operations after the games. We also renovated the old factory buildings nearby to provide services for the spectators and the registered personnel during the games. Afterward, the games, they will be used as five-star uh, hotels and uh, commercial facilities. In the next few years, Shogun Park will build more cultural, sport, commercial and business facilities with a total construction area of about 2 million square meters, which will drive the compre compre uh, comprehensive development of the industry in the western part of Beijing and benefit 3 million nearby residents. Yanqing Zun has rich tourism resources including Chinese famous world cultural heritage, Badaling Great Wall. There were no formal tourism service facilities here before, but still more than two, uh, 200,000 people come here every year. Therefore, Yanqing Zun has great opportunities for tourism development. It is uh, estimated that there were, will be millions of people per year uh, to promote the development of local tourism. And tourism. Yanqing Olympic Village consists of two hotels. One is four star and the other is five star. To ensure immediate opening after the games, the hotel rooms are directly uh, decorated uh, according to the post use uh, criteria. The National Airport Skiing Center in Yanqing Zun has set up several cable car lines and a tourist service center at the top of the mountain after the competition. Tourists can take the cable car to see the beautiful view and get a comfortable sightseeing experience. There are about 17 sliding tracks in the world. It is hard for the checks to achieve financial balance. Therefore, we added a tourist experience entrance on National Sliding Center and can have all year round operation after the games. In addition, we built a roof for the check, a hotel and business facilities along the check. They will be operated by the same owner so that it could continue to be financially viable. Zhang Jiakou Zun is located in Chongli district, which has a skiing history of more than 20 years. Before Beijing proposed to bid for the Winter Olympic Games, the ski resorts in Chongli were generally at a loss. After we won the bid, the skiing population in Chongli began to increase every year. The ski resorts began to make profit in the snow season of 2019, more than 2 million people went skiing in Chongli. We can see the preparation of the Winter Olympic Games has brought uh, great uh, impetus to the tourism development of Chongli. By the end of the last year, the Beijing to Zhang Jiakou High Speed Railway was completed and opened. Hence, the Beijing 2022 has become the first in its 100 years history of the Winter Olympic Games in which high-speed railways uh, are used to connect the venues. This high-speed railway is an established railway line in China in order to better promote the development of Zhang Jiakou skiing industry. The design speed of this line has been increased and Taizu Cheng High Speed Railway Station was set in the center area of Zhang Jiakou Zun, which is close to the major ski resorts. The passengers' flow of the uh, Chongli ski resorts mainly comes from Beijing. After the opening of uh, High Speed Railway, it takes only 50 minutes from Beijing to Chongli. 
The convenient to transportation greatly increases the number of the people going to Chongli every day. In the peak skiing season, uh, the daily train frequency of this railway increased from 4 trees to 22 trees. The summer of Chongli is nice and cool. More and more tourists go to Chongli for a vacation through this high-speed rail. In addition, we built the Beijing to Chongli Expressway. It was completed and opened to traffic in January this year. This expressway will provide a dedicated Olympic lane for registered personnel and worker vehicles. At present, it has become the main tourist road connecting Beijing and Chongli. Taizi Cheng, a snow town. In the core position of Zhang Jiakou Zone, we built Taizi Cheng Snow Town. There are various uh, commercial, cultural, exhibition facilities, hotels, and apartments in the town. Taizi Cheng High Speed Railway Station is located in the core area of the town. Zhang Jiakou Olympic Village and the Meadows Plaza are also set up in the town. This town is an important measure to promote the development of uh, tourism in Zhang Jiakou Zone. The beautiful environment, modern facilities, and the convenient transportation will bring vigor and buzz to the town. On the site of the Olympic Village, we excavated an uh, 800 year old site of the Prince's Palace palace in Chinese known as Taizicheng. We moved the uh, site of the village to the east by 100 meters uh, to protect the site complete, completely and also add cultural uh, connotation to the Zhang Jiakou Zone. At present, we are carrying out a protective in, uh, restoration of the site and we believe uh, it will become a very popular tourist attraction after the games. In Zhang Jiakou Zone, there is a very lovely venue, the National Skiing Jumping Center. It is similar to the shape of Ruyi, a traditional Chinese ornamental object for luck, so it is nicknamed Snow Ruyi. There are more than 30 ski jumping venues in the world and it is difficult to make them financially viable. For this reason, we added some facilities to increase profit. For example, we built a circular building called uh, Pick Club at the top of the venue. After the games, the club will be used as an uh, area restaurant with 360 degree view and can ac accommodate 500 people for meetings. This club is an uh, excellent scenic area in Zhang Jiakou Zone, and it will attract many uh, enterprises and uh, tourists to hold activities, visit, and enjoy delicious food in the future. In the Finnish area, we built a standard football field and set up a spawning uh, facilities under the surrounding stands. In addition to skiing jumping games, Snow Rui can also hold matches and concerts. We think it will surely be the landmark and promote the development of tourism in Zhang Jiakou Zone. Venues and the infrastructures used in the Beijing 2022 not only focus on the requirements of the Winter Olympic Games, but also considers its influence and the contribution to the world. All venues of Beijing 2022 will use green power, that is, white power and solar power. This will make Beijing 2022 the first Olympic Games in the world to use green power. Over the past decade, I witnessed how Beijing 2008 influenced this city. I believe Beijing 2022 will bring us even more. Let's experience 2022 and see the future in Beijing.